Okay, so it is week 11, day 6. <clears throat> Last workout day of the week. Tomorrow is the stretch day. Then we move on to week 12 which is the last workout week of this segment. Then we have a recovery week, and then we move on to the next segment, which is 3 of 10. We're just tuning in. We're doing 2 of 15 right now, other than the abs. The abs are always going to be sets of 30, other than planks, which are obviously timed. Um, but the sets, the sets follow the set pattern. So if it's one set, it's one set. If it's two sets, it's two sets, three sets, three sets, exactly. But it stays 30 reps uh, the whole time for the rep count. Planks and side planks, we're working our way up to two minutes and a minute and a half, respectively. And then we'll add some light weight as needed, more weight as needed from there. Um, but we will continue to increase the sets as the sets increase that. Um, if you are planning on going big and bulky all the way around, uh, if you're doing this routine, then go ahead and keep the set to rep ratio along with the rest of the muscle groups. So if we're doing 2 of 15, do 2 of 15. If we're doing 10 of 3, then do 10 of 3. Um, <clears throat> yes, 10 of 3. Um, so whatever it is. So I will be doing, when we get to the 10 of 3 super, super set, I will be doing 10 of 30. Um, which most likely means I won't have to add lots of weight to my abs. I'm going for tone, trim, toned, and defined as opposed to big, bulky, and muscular. The rest of the body I'm fine with, but I want the trim, toned waistline, not the big, bulky bodybuilder type. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, um, I'm getting close, and since we are switching to the 3 of 10 here shortly, I'm very close to needing 45 pound dumbbells. Um, I stopped at the Salvation Army to see if they had more weights, you know, because I got all these older weights, I don't know if you can see them anywhere, but the, if you've watched any of the video, sometimes you'll see me with the dumbbells that have some rusty plates on them. Well, yesterday I had to use these, um, these solid old, uh, they're not rusty, they're just kind of rusty. <sighs> to me, rusty kind of implies that they're going to be like all like bleh, you know, and torn up. But they are rust colored because they've got, you know, they're old and oxidated, I guess you could say. But I got, the, I got like 300 pounds of weights at the Salvation Army like years ago. A um, whole bunch of plate weights and a whole bunch of um, sand weights. The sand weights are in the other room. I wonder... There's a whole, I got a whole like big tote full of these um, sand weights. And it looks like some of these are, at least this one is, is uh, 10 pounds. So maybe, maybe the remainder of them are all pounds. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so I do have extra. I got those two 15s that I got when I found the... Uh, easy curl bar. So I could probably bring those out as well, but uh, I prefer to use the plate weights for the solid, you know, these hex dumbbells here. <clears throat> these things. But I can't, I can't justify, like this 15 pound one I think cost me like ten dollars. You know, when I bought it. And they're not that old, they're only a couple years old. Um, I stopped it at Play Against Sports, 
to see what they had available. Um, and I, they even had, I was talking about these 50 pounders that I couldn't find anywhere online. They have four of these. Brand new, four of these 50 pounders, exact same one, the Weeder 50, 50 pound uh, plate weights. At a dollar, all their new stuff is a dollar sixty nine per pound. So one of these would cost me eighty four fifty. Eighty four fifty for one of those. When I got those for like, I can guarantee it was less than a dollar a pound when I bought those. Just like two three years ago. Um, that's ridiculous. They had a whole bunch of they had a whole bunch of um, used weights, and they were selling those for ninety nine cents a pound, so a dollar a pound. So I grabbed two more um, ten pounds and two more five pounds, um, just to make sure I had the right amount, so I could make two more dumbbells. Because you got to have like at least two for each dumbbell of each weight. So if you have, need two dumbbells, you need four. So to avoid having to strip the ones that I'm still using for my in-between weights, my two and a half pounds, so my 17 and a half, my 22 and a half, my 27 and a half, to avoid stripping those, I spent 30 bucks and got 30 pounds more, two more of those, which gives me an addition, gives me a total of eight extra tens, um, eight fives, then I still have the extra two or the four, two and a half. So I can make my 45 pounds with these um, with these dumbbells that don't really weigh much more than probably like a half pound max. These are the light ones that came in those um, uh, that 40 pound dumbbell set that you get from Walmart for like. 30 bucks or something. They're super light, they're super lightweight. They're not made for heavy, heavy weights, obviously. Unlike the ones that weigh about two and a half pounds each. They're made to put heavier weights on. So I can probably get away with putting like 50 pounds on there. Um, on those ones. You would think. You would think they would make those dumbbells weigh about five pounds, you know, so it's a better increment than, than like two and a half pounds or something like that. Um, especially since the rest of the dumbbells come in five pound increments. They had one used 45 pound rubber coated hex, uh, hex dumbbell. I probably, in hindsight, think I should have bought it. And they could let the note there and say, hey, if you get another one, can you give me a call? Um, but, yeah. All their new ones, though, their new four, they didn't have any new rubber coated 45s. Uh, they didn't have any other used 45s either, uh, other than that one. They had a bunch of rubber coated 40s, uh, probably about three or four used rubber coated 40s and a bunch of the powder coated 45s, like a whole stack of brand new powder coated 45s um, that were like 70 bucks each. I can't, I can't justify spending $75, $70 on, on $140 on two dumbbells um, when I can just take the extra 30 seconds to make them. Um, That's really the only reason I'm, I'm doing it. Having to make a couple dumbbells every so often isn't, isn't a big deal. Considering right now, the only ones I'm using the 40s for at this point are the shoulder shrugs. Um, but I have a feeling that the, uh, very soon the, uh, what is it, the skull crusher, um, the supported rows, and inward forearm curls are going to need heavier weights very, very soon. So, three exercises out of the rest of them where I'm still using lighter weights, uh, I guess really isn't that big of a deal. Also, considering the fact that I have to put weights on the bars, 
the barbells weights on the uh, that pull down machine. I guess making a couple dumbbells here and there isn't going to be a big deal for now. So, but I can't really afford to spend seven seventy dollars per dumbbell at minimum to get the two forty fives and then get the fifties because with those two extras there. I can make 45s, I can make 50s, um, I can make 47s and a half by 47s and a half, 47s and a half, 47 and a half by using these uh, heavier duty ones. They did have a couple, um, <clears throat> a couple heavy duty dumbbells that weighed about two and a half, three pounds um, that were solid, so I could just use some quick clamps on them. They're like seven bucks each. Could have got those too. I might go back and get those, just so I don't got to take these apart. But then again, at that point, if I keep doing that, I might as well just fucking buy the other, the other weights. So, how do the weights stick to the bar? Um, well, it depends on what you're using. Um, the reason why the, the, these dumbbells are annoying is because they're threaded. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sure you can see that. They're threaded. And they have these twist locks on them. So you put the weight on there and you twist those on and they, they stay on. Or, I mean, you can, I've, I've even used these uh, quick clamps on them, but they're not really made to grip very well on these. It doesn't have that much of a surface. You can put the quick clamps on there and lock it down as well. Those are a lot easier to use. It's a lot quicker just to put that on and snap it on. But they grip better. <clears throat> they do grip decently on here. Um, but they grip better on the solid bar there because it has more 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 surface on there. Solid surface for the, the, the little rubber grip on the inside to grab. Um, but yeah, that's how they stick. That's why it's kind of annoying to make the dumbbells. It's because with these twist locks, you got to spin them down, spin them back. It just takes extra time. And if that's all you're using, it's kind of obnoxious, uh, which is why I bought those hex dumbbells. Uh, so you have to do this, because if you're doing a workout with mainly dumbbells, <clears throat> you're constantly switching these things out, and it takes up half your time. <clears throat> but then again, I spend half my time talking to cameras, where most people aren't even on here listening to me, so <laughs> I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, again, again, for, for just a couple couple exercises, I guess I got I got to make sure I justify it, because it makes more sense to not spend the money I don't have to spend. Um, and again, if I'm going to spend $140 on two dumbbells, when I have plate weights to use and the extra dumbbells to use, and just take the extra few seconds to do it, I would, I'd rather spend the $200 and get the uh, seated calf raise machine to avoid having to keep setting up my weird ass setup to do seated calf raises. Um, like I said, I have plenty of weights to make what I need, or to do what I need to do. Um, just I want the convenience of just walking over and grabbing the ones that I need. Um, but it would also make more sense to just put the weights on the machine, sit down and do it, as opposed to having to pull this bench back out put those wooden planks down, set all this thing up, raise it up, make sure it's seated properly, and all the pieces and parts where they need to be and make the minor adjustment because I press it down. I'm like, nope, not the right spot. Got to move this back a little bit. Got to adjust this. And every time I got to do that. Um, so the seated calf raise machine for 200 bucks is a better investment um, at this point than those. But then again, also at this point, until I max out this bar, which is about 300 pounds, um, I really don't need to get the seated cap rate machine. 
either that or when it actually becomes it feels a lot more unsafe to use the bar over my knees <laughs> um, versus actually using a machine made for it. So right now I'm fine with what I got and if I can afford to get them later on down the road or if somebody wants to get them off my Amazon wish list for me. <laughs> um, that'd be nice too. Not telling anybody to do that for me, but I wouldn't say no. I'm going to refill my water here real fast. Before I get started, I realize I don't have any. Everybody's gone, everybody's gone. Um, but yeah, also when I was at the Salvation Army, I got some, got some more gym clothes for when I get, you know, shirts for when I get in a little better shape. And I can show off some muscles that I don't have yet. But my muscles, they're bigger than they were. They're, they're getting bigger. My, my shirts are getting tighter around the shoulders, around the chest. Um, and the sleeves, I notice I put my extra large shirts on, my, my sleeves feel tighter all around here, which is cool, but they feel a lot looser around here, which is also cool, and I'm happy about that. So, it's working, it's working slower than I want it to, but it's working. It's working at the right speed for what I'm doing, which is exactly what I planned to do. I was just hoping it would go a little, little faster going now. But then again, this this routine doesn't have as much cardio aspect to it to help boost it like the last one did. The Turbo Jam warm-ups that I was doing, or not really warm-ups, I was using them for warm-ups, had a little more cardio aspect than these hip-hop ab ones do. Even though the hip-hop ab ones do a lot of work, um, again, it all depends on the effort you put into it. Um, they don't have that extra cardio aspect to it to get that extra burn in there. Um, now when we start doing the 3 of 10 in about two weeks, um, we'll be going back to the Turbo Jam videos. Or I'll be going back to the Turbo Jam videos for my warm-ups. And then I will also be doing um, interval cardio, light cardio in between uh, the sets because we need a longer rest period in between sets than we do now, even though that's probably another one of the problems here if I take too long of a rest period in between my sets, um, instead of just jumping back on it. Because I always have some weird ass thing that I, I pops in my head that I have to tell you guys, even though there's nobody ever really listening to what I'm saying. So it doesn't really matter. Um, you can just do this and shot. I bet you, I bet you anything, if I just came down here consistently at the exact same time every day kept my mouth shut and just worked out I probably have more people following me and watching than I do when I keep stopping and talking about stupid shit uh, but yeah anyway I, I bought some more uh, some new gym clothes got some extra shorts um, and some extra shirts like some tank tops and some sleeveless shirts that because the only ones I have upstairs um, I have the ones I've been wearing obviously um, but I have some sleeveless shirt ones um, tank tops that are um, kind of too small for me. they're mediums I can't fit them I can barely I can squeeze into larges but they're not really comfortable other than those, um, those light blue dark blue ones uh, well, I guess those undershirts, those, those colored undershirts I've been wearing lately. There's like a light blue, a dark blue, a gray, and a dark gray. Um, not this one, obviously. This is an old regular shirt that I've had on that's just been worn um, and stretched out. That's why it looks like that around the top here. I mean, it has, a, it has kind of a... brindle type, I guess you could say, pattern to it. 
but up here it's just it's kind of stretched out. Um, but I like, I, I, I understand, and, and I like, I, it's, it's much more preferable to um, wear sleeveless shirts when you're doing a workout, because I've noticed a few times I go, go to do a workout, and, like, and then I'm like, ah, and then like the, you have to move the shoulders a little bit to make sure your arms move right without the sleeve getting kind of stuck up there. Um, same thing with shorts. Shorts, when you're doing leg work, it's, it's nicer to wear looser pairs that are a little bit on the shorter side that come above your knees for sure. That way they move properly. If they're on, they go down a little bit too far, they might you know, get stuck on your knee. Just be obnoxious, you gotta hike them up a little bit before you start doing something. Then again, the ones I got I think were a little bit on the longer side just because that's all they had. But they were two, three bucks each. I don't think, I don't believe in spending buku bucks on gym clothes. It's, I think it's kind of ridiculous. There. I'm not, even if I was going, even if I was going to the gym, even when I was going to a gym, I just throw on the same shit that I just throw on when I come down here. Why? Because they're fucking gym clothes. They're going to get ruined. I'm not going to spend 50 bucks on a t-shirt to wear to the gym. It's just because it says Under Armour on it or Nike on it. It's just kind of stupid. I think they're kind of stupid. I'll, I'll waste my money. Because it's not a waste. I'll invest my money on my home gym. That makes sense. But I'm not going to invest money into workout clothes. And while we're at it, this whole pump cover thing, is, you want to talk about narcissists. <laughs> that whole pump cover thing. You know, I really thought, that I was hearing, kept hearing about pump cover. I thought maybe it was just something like, just like wearing a sweatsuit. You know, um, the whole reason for wearing a sweatsuit. Uh, I didn't realize it was a something that you're supposed to wear, or, or that you're not supposed to. But something that you would wear like up until the point where you got enough of a pump, and then you take off your fucking pump cover to reveal how muscular and bulky and pumped you are for everybody else to, to look at and admire. How fucking ridiculous is that? How narcissistic? I mean, I, I I'm cocky and I'm narcissistic myself. But how fucking, like, into yourself do you have to be that you're going to wear a pump cover to take off, to show off for everybody else? That's not for you. That is not for you at all. 100%. That pump cover is not for you. Because if it was, if it was for you, you wouldn't be wearing the pump cover. You just walk in, into the gym, wearing your fucking tank top, and then as you get the pump, you're like, oh, that's starting, that's starting to get pumped. Like, yeah, it looks good. You know, that's, oh, I like the way it looks. You know, it's like the men's warehouse. <laughs> you like the way you look. You know. But no, you're, you're doing it to show off. That's the whole point. That's whole, and then there's like, even the other ones. Like, I, I, I watched this one video. Uh, I think the Joey Swole posted it uh, about this girl who got pissed off. It was a video she was... She was recording herself. She was recording herself in the gym. She had her, she had her camera set up. She was wearing a big old fucking like pump, a pump cover, covering everything. I mean, it was a long fucking giant sweatshirt type thing. Um, not just an oversized tee. It was like covering her ass, covering everything. There were two guys in the gym, a trainer or an employee who was helping another another guy out on um, like the. Nautilus machine for like uh, the bench press, the seated bench press Nautilus machine. Um, and she sets down her water bottle and, actually, and, and then she does this whole fucking like reveal thing. Like, I mean, she does this whole like perfect oh, says, and then they, they just kind of look over at her and look, go back to what they're fucking doing. Nobody says shit. Like, she even put a caption over the front of the top that. She, she like zoomed it in on them, which is grainy as hell. And then she kind of puts "damn" in quotation marks. Nobody's mouth moved at all. Nobody said "damn," you know, when she did that. They looked. They looked over and went right back to her. And she goes, "Got a problem? Do you need something? Do you need something?" I'm like, "You just fucking stripped down to like half the fucking clothes you were wearing, and people looked over and saw you do it. Can't just went back to what they're fucking doing." Like, you purposely did that shit. 
pump covers are for attention. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that you can't wear what you want to the gym. You can wear whatever the fuck you want to the gym. But if you're wearing revealing shit, I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. If you're wearing, if you're wearing revealing shit, you're doing it for other people to look at you. 100%. And you can't get mad when other people look at you. That's the entire purpose of you wearing skimpy fucking clothes to a gym. Is so other people can look at you. There's no other reason to wear skimpy clothes. Gym clothes should be comfortable and loose. You know, you don't need to show off at the fucking gym. You know, if you want to show off a little bit, that's fine. I have nothing against that. You want to show off, that's fine. But if people look at you, people are going to look at you. It's, it's... It's, it's, that's the whole point of skimpy clothes. It's for people to look at you. Is that a personal gem? Is this a personal gem? Behind me? This is my basement. Or part of my story. Well, I was talking about my story. The story was at a gym, a regular gym. Yeah, I got goals. I want to be able to show off in the gym. I mean, but then again, like, I'm not going to sit there and be some fucking, like, narcissistic asshat. You know, the people who takes like, who take up half the fucking gym taking pictures of themselves. Or, you know, taking off pump covers to be like, oh, yeah, look at me now. You know, all that shit. Just go work out. Go fucking work out. If you want to wear a pump cover, wear a pump cover. You want to take it off? Take it off. That's fine. I don't care. You know, start getting hot. I, that's what I, that's what I figure. I see these people taking all this off these pump covers. That's because they're, they're getting hot. You know, they start it off because they want the extra burn, the extra sweat, because their body warms fat, warmed up faster. No, it's it's fucking it's to reveal their pump. It's like, I'm like, what the fuck is that shit? I'm like, go to the gym, go work out, wear your fucking tank top and shorts, wear your fucking leggings and sports bra. I don't fucking care, but. If you're wearing shit that shows your body off, you're you're doing it for other people, not for yourself. It's one hundred percent. Anything you do to show off your body, you're doing it for other people. And that's what you want to do. That's fine. That's fine. There's not I have nothing against it. You can wear whatever the fuck you want. But understand that you're doing it for other people, not for yourself. That cute outfit is not for you. The cute outfit is for other people. That's why you bought it. Revealing clothes were made for people, for, especially for girls. Revealing clothes were designed by men to ogle you. And now you are conditioned to believe that it's just cute. And here's, here's the good example. Here's, here's the, here's the 100%. It's completely illogical to think like this. You will wear, you will hide if somebody sees you in your bra and underwear. Yet you will wear a string bikini to the beach that reveals ten times as much as your bra and underwear. Make it make sense. Bikinis were made not to make you feel more inclusive. Bikinis were made not to make you feel like you had equality <laughs> because you could show off as much. Bikinis were made because guys are perverts. Again, I had nothing against it. <laughs> yeah. But that's the entire reason why bikinis were made. Remember, when girls were wearing full body suits, swimsuits, men were wearing full body swimsuits. But think about it back in the day, they, they, had, they had these fucking whole fucking body things on that they wore, and women wore the exact same things. Just the girlier version of it. And then the women's got a little bit smaller, and the men's went to just trunks. And then the adventure of a bikini, who was a guy, it was all made for us to look at. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm not trying to be misogynistic, but that's the truth.
granted, we were all born naked. We're all naturally naked people. It's just that we've become, society has made it modesty a thing. And now we're taking away that modesty and we still have the natural instincts but we don't see something. That's why, that's why ankles were like, you could see a woman's ankles because everybody was covered up. And again, think about guys clothes. Think about what a sexy man looks like in a magazine versus a sexy woman. The sexy man is wearing a suit and tie, like a designer suit and tie, completely, fully clothes, clothed. The woman has like a low cut, high slit, everything tight. That's a sexy woman. In, in, the, in like in a magazine, super tight, super revealing. But the guy is completely covered. Think about it. <clears throat> so anyway, okay. Now that's enough of that. <clears throat> I'm the dryness in my throat right now. Ah, today is leg day. It is also 11.40. Um, I'm not going to work today because um, normally I would be. Normally I'd be mad that I was down here so late, but I, I, like, I have time. Um, because lunch on Saturdays sucks ass. I know lunch during the week has been kind of slow and I haven't been going out lately, so it's probably just me. I could probably go out and still make what I normally make. But even when I am out for during the day on Saturday, it sucks. Like it literally sucks. I make about ten to ten to twelve bucks an hour if I'm lucky on on a Saturday during the day. Um, people are out mowing their lawns. They're doing shit. They're at the park, um, at the pool. Um, I don't make a lot of money. I'm wasting my gas sitting in ninety degree heat with my air conditioning on, wasting even more gas. Or I'm sweating my ass off because I'm sitting there with the windows down in a parking lot waiting for the order. And then I'm sitting there like, that's not worth me moving for. You know? uh, but anyway, the reason why I'm not working today, I know you don't care. There's nobody there anyway. I'm talking to nobody. Uh, the reason that I'm not working today is because we are combining Mother's Day for my mom with Father's Day for me, um, my daughter uh, knows how much my mom loves Elvis, and actually it was for her birthday, but she got a birthday present, so it's technically could be Mother's Day, um, uh, decided she was going to, my daughter was going to pay for all the tickets and stuff um, to take us to go see take her, technically, uh, to go see um, the Elvis movie. Um, but she's doing it as a, it's a family thing. So it's going to be um, my kids, my daughter's boyfriend, my mom and me. Uh, so we're all going to go see it. My daughter's springing for that, um, for us to go see that today. Um, so we're going to go see that at 4.15. And then we're going to go to dinner. Um, so the dinner is partly Mother's Day and Father's Day as well. Uh, and then my Father's Day present is they are taking me to the drive-in drive -in later afterwards to go see Jurassic World Dominion. That's all I told, I told them I wanted. I should take them to go see the movie. That's all I care about. I just want to go see that movie. Um, and then um, whatever else is playing with it, which I'll probably look it up. Let's see what else we've been in play. Gonna see. It's nice having my phone free, but again, it's not because I'm gonna sit here and fucking play on it too much. Uh, midway, driving deeper. Looks like. Green one, Jurassic World Dominion and Top Gun Maverick. I have no problem going to see Top Gun Maverick again. That movie was fucking awesome. 
I'm going to say it again. If you have not seen Top Gun Maverick, go watch it. Go rewatch the first one, and then go watch it. Go see it in the theater. It's fucking awesome. It is an amazing movie. It is put together so fucking well. Storyline, characters, played out perfectly. It's awesome. It's very, it's very reminiscent of the first one, but at the same time, it's it's, its own movie. And it's great. Um, uh, I got a, I got a text from my son that see, see what I do? See what I do? I got this fucking open. Got this on. And I'm wasting time. Alright, anyway, so, yeah, it's leg day, part two. Today's workout is, warm-up is going to be hip-hop abs, hips, buns, and thighs. It's about 20 to 25 minutes, 22 to 20, 25 minutes is how long it is. Um, take off the cool down, it's about 22 to 23 minutes. And then for the actual workout, we are doing front squats and cable kick, front squats, cable kickbacks, these, let me back up here. Cable kickbacks are these. I have to show you every time. Leg abductors. And leg adductors. Barbell hip raises and donkey calf raises. That's the bent over calf raise. Um, made famous by Arnold. That's the workout. And then I have laundry to do, dishes to do, cleaning to do, all that good stuff. If I get all that done, maybe I can go out Monday afternoon, or Monday up until, yeah, afternoon to whatever. Probably on my lawn today, get it out of the way. Because my luck, it'll probably rain tomorrow or Monday. And I won't be able to do it. So, yeah, let's get this party started. So I turn off the TV instead of turning the DVD player back on. I think I'm going to try to do that next, when we start this 3 at 10. Come down here at like 8 o'clock. At least by 9. I'm supposed to be down here at 9 o'clock. But never down here at 9. Even when I am down here at 9, I'll just start. Alright. Yeah. Let's get it. 
And when you pull, you really contract your obliques here. So let's go right here. Come on. Move to me. Let's move. Let's move. Screw you. Remember to tighten low. Push. Ah. Go back for more. Come on. Push. You got it, y'all. Hit. Hit. Come up again. Yeah. You got it. Let's work it out. Move back. Come on. It's cool. And you can stay here. Stay here. Now cross your arms. Look. I'm crossing. And I'm bending at these. And I'm hip hopping. Work. Come on, cool. Look. I'm tightening down. Push it down. Eight more. Right here. Go eight. And seven. And six. Are you good? Are you ready to move? Move to me. Let's go. Let's go. Move it. Yeah. Tighten up. Bend your knees. Work the quad. Back down. Push. You good? Hit it. Come on, go. Push up. And back. Come on. Move. Go back again. You got it. Hit. Yeah. 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 March it out. Right back. Come on. Come on. March. All right. Good. Feeling good. Keep the core nice and tight. See? I'm just standing here. Just march it tight. March wide. Right here. March it out. Now, we're going to go into something called the rock. Just lifting your body. Lifting your shoulders. Right and left, ready? Rock, right and left, single, push, work out. And when your body goes down, tighten up your ass. You would like my breathing exercise, crap, switch. Yeah, go. Now, four more, like this. Have fun with it, but keep your knees bent. Work. Give me two, two, like this. Work. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Find your own groove. You got it in you. And push. Remember, when you ask, when you cry, and push. Come on, four more, right here. Four, best ass, the pawn jaw. Put it up, two, two, work. Get it, y'all. Big, move, y'all. How we doing? Yeah, how we doing? Push it up, eight more. Remember, when your hands come up, tighten up your ass, push. Four more, here. You know what? I love to move left into the dance floor. Go, push, work, hit, move. Come back now, go, hit. Are we good? Come on, move. Now remember, keep the knees slightly bent right here. Push, move back, and go. Here we go, right here, basic bounce center. Come on, together. Now look, I'm doing my basic bounce, tilt up tight, in a sec, look. Three, everything's working here, come on. We're going into what I call the lower body group. So we're gonna step out, we keep knees bent, knees over and ready, step right foot out, right here, groove, seven, six, ten. Bring it together, groove, come on. Now, when you come together, squeeze it in the thigh, face it, you can back, back out. Push, stay down, work, yeah. Bring it together, come on, hit. You can groove how you want, at your arms in, when we go down from the shoulder, go eight, hit, go. Push, now just move it here. Groove out, ah, ah, how we doing, y'all? Hit, hit, go down again, come on, push. Come on, all in the core, all in the quad, step up, rock. Now, do it again, look. Four and four, right here, look. We got four and three, drop the car. Push out, hold it, first again, come on, hit. You got it, stay with, stay low. Push it out, ah, groove, yeah, how we doing? Push, hit, you know what? Let's fuck it out. Two and two. Oh, baby. Come on. Come on. Two. Let's go. Work out. Push. Push. And come on. Get the quads in there. Come on, y'all. Push. Come on. Four more. Right here. Go four. Are you in there? Two more. Right here. Two. Hey. Hey. Right center. Right here. Oh. I feel it. Give me some skin, y'all. Work it out. Come on. Feeling good. This is time to shake your legs out. We're going to something called the heel toe. Look, watch wide right here. Look, wide out. Heel toe. Right foot up and back like this. You got to groove and push and groove. Now, what I want you to get used to is keeping your left knee back, okay? Knee over the ankle. Just drop it here. Lift and back. Keep it back. Start to fire up that quad step, right? We're going to work the glutes too. Go low right here. Look, I'm going down. Knee over ankle and push. I'm turning my foot out here, but most of the weight is staying on my left side, so you keep it safe, okay? Don't put too much weight on your right knee. Stay here, okay? And push. Here we go. Stay here. Add your arms. Both arms up here. Triceps back. Push and lift. You got to feel the work. You know why? Because when I see you walking down the street, I want you to be like, I'm cute in my jeans. Work and push your dick. You ready to go tempo? I can't hear you. You too. Let's go tempo. Push. Work. Come on, push.
us. Get down. Dig, get down. Come on. You feel it working? Fire it up. Fire it up. Come on. Dig. That's eight. Come on. That's eight. Eight and seven. How many more, y'all? Four and three. Come on. What? Watch it out and burn, burn, yeah, come on, now shake it out again, shake it out, look, I'm shaking, ha, ha. do it, do it, yeah, come on, right, left, now look, we gotta go to the other side, we can't walk not side, you know what I'm saying, we gotta stay center, here we go, look, left leg, up and back, heel toe, look, heel, toe, boom, so now when the heel comes up tight, see, even when I'm standing up, I'm tight, look, sneak a peek, come down, <laughs> and again, ready? So here, so what I need you to do is go up and down. Remember our form, up, the over ankle, up, weight into the right side. Push, turn out the left toe, push. Are we good? Four more, go four, and hit down. <laughs> two more, two more. We're gonna fuck it out in a minute. Get the form, make sure that your arms right here. Push and drop, y'all. Push and drop, y'all. Come on, push and drop. Good, triceps go back, come on, four more, two more, right here, are we ready to go tempo, let's work it out, let's hit it, push, push, dig down, work it out, come on, take it up the ass, exhale, push it down, last eight, come on, fight it out, push it down, two, two, work it out, four more, and three, and two, march out, whoa, Alright, so we're feeling good. We got those legs nice and strong. But you know what? I'm gonna just watch you wide right here. Because you know what's about to happen. I'm gonna take your shit. And then my lawn. Please open that ankle the foundation. Take it down and up right here. Go down and up right here. Go down and up. See? Go over ankle and I'm pushing. And I'm here. And guess what? I'm pushing my hips back. And I'm gigging. Okay, come, come on. Four more right here. Go four. And three, now, let's go tempo right here, push it, funky, turn go ahead, push, now let's go down, I want you to tighten up the core, but guess what, you gotta have a good time, but I don't want you to feel the you would get about your safety moves, okay, knees over ankles, four, and three, you know what, Just like let's right watch it out, y'all, are we feeling good, y'all, yeah, alright, so let's just do it here. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to take that mark out wide and shoot back and shoot. Now, when I hit the hips now, plant the feet and come down low. Tighten up the core, arms up. Crunching your arms down to the right side. Here we go, up and seven. Now, as I do this, I'm going inside to the top and tighten back and let you know you're going to get to know very well, okay? You get the lower into that flat, you got it? Push down. And here we go. We're going to start to bring our elbows toward me. Push down and up and push and up. We keep on moving and sit to the front. A little more so we can work those runs. Come on and push. Do you feel it? And go. How about one more? Good. Watch out right here. All right. Good. And we're going to go back down into that. What we're going to do is we're going to do some things that are a little lower to the floor. So make sure you use your core for power time. Okay. So here we go. Go back to that position. Come a little lower. Bring your arms up here, now. Left hand goes to the right floor, right. ready? Push, touch it, come center, uh, and touch it. And you can rock it, and squeeze the oblique. How we doing, y'all? Come on, change it, and work it, and push it. All right, you get your rear nice and far back, and guess what? Let's go, tempo right here, tempo work. Yeah, I'm peeking at you, I can still see you work, come on. And three, and go, come on, yeah, shake, can we do eight more? Yeah, go four, and three, you know what? That's why you shake my right here. Work, oh, if I had to shake it out, shake it out, good. Now, we're going to swim like this, okay? We got a couple things to remember. Knee over ankle, hip over knee. I'll tell you more about it in a second. But what I need you to do, Give me a step back right here, look. Just move back. Hey, work it out. Now, each time you go side to side, you can work that oblique. Here and here. Now, you start to bring the arms in like this. Damn, Just move, nice and easy. I'm kidding. Yeah, you have a door like this. Let's go down, look. Push, drop, and drop. Now, remember I was talking about the over ankle and hip over knee? 
Look, let me point it out. Please don't show me the rush. You know the ankle. Boom. Hip over knee. Drop it. Push. Ready? Come on. Two more. Let's go. Push. Oh. Fuck it. And off the break. Do it again. Hit. Come on. Push it in more. Push it down. Work. Now, we're going to stay in this just for a little bit longer. Can we do it? Come on. Hit my head. Jump. Go. Those abs, I'm right around those abs every day. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Here we go, ready? Tempo, let's work it out. Push, go, and dig it out. Say, say yeah, y'all. Say yeah, y'all. Come on, push. Are we there? We got it. Work, four, three, two, and one. Yeah, how does that feel? Now listen, grab your mat because we're going to go to the floor. It's like we some more hits, buttons, and thighs. I want you to come with the flat back, make sure your shoulders, elbows, and wrists are in line. Give the knee and tight to the stomach. Let's go to a leg. Let's back now. Push and back. Good. And set foot. Come on. Keep the toes following. And this shit has some fun. Come on. You got to keep that form, okay? Very important for you to keep the form. Dig it here. Push and back. And get it. Now keep going here. Come on. Go back and in. Squeeze. Four more right here, go four, 
can't breathe. Now what I need you to do is bend the knee again. Bend it up. Put to the ceiling. Come on, make sure you have that 90 degree feel, okay? Now hold it. Find the position. Press up to the ceiling. Let's go. Come on. And press. And press. Press. Keep going. How we feeling? How we feeling? Push. You know what? Keep going. Come on. Dig through. Work. Work. Work it out. Come on. You got it. You know what? Last it. Can we do it, y'all? Hey. Tighten up. Squeeze. Four more. Right here. Four. And three. And two. Release. Child pose. Ah. Uh, that jump amazing. Are you good? Well, you know what? It's time to stretch. So come up right here. Come up. All right. Now, look. We want to stretch it down. I said, work, work, work. Now, stretch out those feet. Take that deep breath out. This is a fierce workout, so you might as well get into it every day. So come down, step stove toes right here, touch your toes. Let's go into now, it's back to work. Okay, if you come here, you need to wide it down. Put your knee under your shin. Whatever you do, come down. Got that? Here we go. Now, take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale down. Shh. Round the back to lay down. Oh, yeah. Down the leg, gauge still. Feel good? Now, bring that leg close to the knee. You should start to feel a little stretch right here in that glute. Mm -mm -mm. Right here now. Release and go to the other side. Yeah. Pull it in. And right here. Ready? Switch again. Right here. Switch. Ah. Feel it. This is the most amazing part of workout. Because you're done. Ah. Here we go. Switch again. Right here. Switch. Pull it in. Now what I want you to do is I want you to bring both, both in right here. Bring it in, squeeze, hold, put four, three. Now shoot your legs out, keep your inner thighs together, reach. Ah, and you felt those. Okay. Somebody followed me. That's cool. <coughs> Okay, so let's get some music going here. Let's get started on the actual workout. Alright, so I put the uh, squat rack back up where it was supposed to be yesterday. And I was waiting for my one phone to charge. So we're good there. I did something right. <clears throat> All right, so for front squats, we had 60 pounds in the first set, 65 on the second. It seems that I'm moving in five pound increments on these two as well. That's fine, whatever. That's the issue with the front squats. You gotta lay it across your shoulders and it just makes it kind of obnoxious. So we're going to 70. It's 20 pound bar, and 50 pounds on there, so 225 will work. Oh, 
Okay, so 70 pounds, 15 reps. I'll take it to 75. Shifts because of the dumb. Okay, 
Second set, 75 pounds, 15 reps. Shit wears you out. But, again, I know I can do more. <laughs> so we'll go up to 80 next week. Okay. Alright. Trip this down, then we'll move on to the resistance machine for the next three exercises. Alright, so cable kickbacks. We did 55 pounds of resistance on the first set as well as the second set. We we're going to 55 for the second set. For the first set today. Or 55 today.
Okay, first set, 55 pounds. 15 reps. We'll go to 60. Start of like a good Brian or a Florida Georgia Lion song or something. All right, second set, 60 pounds, 15 reps. We'll keep it at 60 pounds for next week. It's because the left leg was not having as much ease as the right leg. Okay, on to leg abductors. That's the outer swing. Here, there. Abs, hips. Flexors, abs, hip flexors, hips, abductors. Abs, hips, abs. In 20 pounds the first set, 20 pounds the second. We're keeping it at 20 pounds because this one's a bitch. Oh, 
So my left leg still doesn't like that one. So my right leg's like just like, woo, this is easy. Left leg's like, eh, I'm not quite there yet. So 20 pounds for a set, 15 reps. We will do 20 pounds again because my left leg's thin. Check those those sandways before I went and bought those. Spent about thirty bucks on those. But they're just so much thicker, bigger than. Me.
Second set, 20 pounds, 15 reps. And keep it at 20. The left leg does not want to get tied up yet. All right, so on to adductors. That is the inner swing. There is a slight difference in the way it feels. At least to me, doing it in front versus doing it behind. Behind is also easier. Maybe because it's not as far of a swing to go when you're behind, your leg kind of stops it there. Close to out here, you can go a little farther. Unless you're leaning up all the way forward. So I split it in half and I do both. I do half up front. So the first set I'll do eight up front, seven behind. And the second set I'll do seven up front and eight behind. Technically I could just do 15 up front and the next set 15 behind, but in case I change the weights. That way it's roughly the same. Off by one, whatever. And the next next segment will be 10, so it'll be five to five. Alright, so we did 40 pounds in the first set last week, 40 pounds in the second, we're keeping it at 40 pounds for this week.
Alright, first set 40 pounds, 15 reps, it's going to stay at 40 for the second set. Alright, second set, 40 pounds, 15 reps, that'll stay at 40 pounds, that's, that's, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so we're done with the resistance stuff. Uh, barbell hip races are next. pounds on the first set, 45 on the second, we're going to 50. It's a 10 pound bar, I mean,
increments of 10, 20, 30, 40 pages. I saw another one of these bars. Ooh, now I got it. Yeah. I saw another one of these bars, kind of old and torn up. But same issue. Wobbles. That's a stupid fucking setup. So 50 pounds, 15 reps. I'm gonna keep it at 50, just because it's still on the awkward side. Uh, I feel like I can do more, but just adjusting my feet a few times and had to prop myself back up and make sure that the entire thing feels right. So we'll keep that at 50 for the next set. I'm going to bathroom first because I'm not going to put the back of my cross my bladder. Oh, I actually put the soap in the, in the bathroom where it's supposed to be. You know, I changed my mind. We're going to go to 55. Weight price should have gone down. Uh, but with 
gas prices and inflation and having to ship those things, that should just change the shipping price, not the actual price of the thing. You've got people do free shipping now, so free shipping, you've got to meet the cost of the product. Anyway, second set, 55 pounds. Next week, I can use a 25 and I can just roll it over my legs. Maybe. I'm getting bigger. Hmm. Alright. Let's write that down. Alright, second set, 55 pounds, 15 reps. I will go to 60 next week. That'd be a bad idea since we're gonna have to jump it. Whatever. Alright, start this down. Put the bench away and we'll do donkey calf race. So donkey calf raises. Set last week, 25 in the second. 
we are going to 30. Pull the bench out a little bit. Again, your best bet is the dip belt for any exercise. Do it to stand up and do it. Start putting like heavy weights on. And you get down on the ground. Next thing you know, you're you're hyperextending your knees, your ankles, all that shit they tell you not to do. When you're doing that, just to get the weight so you can stand back up. So. Put it on the bench, if you can, table, whatever. Where you're standing the whole time. Alright, so 30 pounds. So, the dip belt rests where it's supposed to while you get yourself situated. And then you're going to want to slide it down over the top of the butt hocks. Butt hocks. That way the weight ow, is going up and down with your body as opposed to just sitting on your hips and just kind of doing that instead of actually going up. Or, if you can find two pretty girls to sit on your back, like Arnold, that'd be better. And two pretty girls couple times. So, you can slide down with that after you're situated so it doesn't fall, obviously. And then, just, that's it. pounds in the first set, 15 reps. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 35. I'm going to grab the other five here. I could switch out to five, but the five is on this side of the chain, and the hook's on this side, so it's easier to grab the other five. And in my brain, it's more equally distributed that way, even though I know it doesn't make a difference. nuts in doing this and I'll pinch them or smack them or bash them or all that fun stuff. Alright, so second set, 35 pounds. 25, 30, 35. Okay, get yourself situated so you're at your, your correct angle. That over. Should be good.
pain, I'll hurt and smack you too. Done working out. Right along back on, so don't forget to take it upstairs. Be clean. All right, second set, 35 pounds, 15 reps. We'll keep that the same for next week, and we're done. Put these weights back. only six sets as opposed to nine or ten. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the workouts for this week. We've got one week left in this segment, then a recovery week, and then um, go into the three and ten segment. We should be more building and shaping as opposed to just toning. Toning and sculpting, building and shape down. Three to ten is more of a building phase. So we'll add some more cardio in with the interval training uh, with that as well. We need longer rest times, and might as well utilize it to burn the fat. That seems to be like hovering over my entire existence. This, this segment is slowly like a quarter of an inch every time. It's bleh. So, anyway, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, along with Twitter and Facebook, all the same usernames. Whatever platform you found me on, you can check out the other ones just by searching on them with the same username if you would like to. All the workout videos are on YouTube. Uh, they should be up to, they are up to date as of, they will be up to date as of yesterday as soon as I go upstairs and hit the publish button uh, on yesterday's upload. Uh, YouTube also has a fitness journey playlist. It has all the videos that I have put on TikTok. Um, for this fitness journey from start to finish, all the highlight reels, all the um, explanation, the explanation of why I decided to start doing this, the explanation of how the workout routine is going, going to go for this whole year, for the year from April to April, um, and all the weekly updates um, along with the highlight reels, all on the fitness journey playlist on YouTube. So if you want to see anything, they're all right there for you to watch. Um, Feel free to like, comment, and share. Instagram has my weekly updates as well. Um, the videos and the highlight reels, as well as the weekly progress pictures. So uh, if you want to see how it's going, you can check the pictures out mute on Instagram. Um, there will be a comparison from the first day to from before, the day before. I started to the current Sunday, the last Sunday, um, and then there's other stuff on there. So I have paintings, drawings, a bunch of different tie knots that were fun to do when I was wearing ties and some other shit. So check those out too if you'd like. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and share as well. <laughs> Twitch is just Twitch. I only live stream on Twitch. I don't know what else to do with that. I don't think there is anything else to do with that. Uh, there is. No one's telling me so. Um, all the videos, all the all the videos that I post um, 
TikTok is my main account. <laughs> That's where all the videos go first, other than the workout videos, obviously. Um, technically, they do kind of go to TikTok first because I'm live streaming it. Um, all the fitness journey videos, all the highlight reels go to TikTok first in the similar name playlist, which are the first two you see when you go to my page. Uh, weekly highlight videos and the fitness journey playlist. Those are right there for you. For your viewing pleasure, um, you go there first because, like I said, it is my main account. Um, along with all the rest of the stuff that I, I post about. And just a heads up, it's more conservative leaning stuff, but there are times where I side with the other side as well, or I'm very down the middle, I guess you could say. Um, I can see both sides' opinions, both sides have good points sometimes. Um, but, yeah. Then I try to make some fun stuff, and I'm not fun, so nobody cares. But yeah, that's that. Uh, you can comment, feel free to comment, like, comment, and share anything. That's fine. All the videos that I post on TikTok are the videos that get share, 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 <laughs> shared to, they get, they're the ones that get, I post them to TikTok and I share them to Instagram. And then from Instagram, they automatically get shared to uh, Twitter and um, Facebook. Um, all those videos on Facebook are public, so if you're seeing them on there, that's why. I have no problem with them being public because they're public on everything else. Uh, and then I also upload them to YouTube, as I said, in the fitness journey playlist. Feel free to comment on anything. Uh, share your comments, questions, and concerns, uh, by all means, on whatever platform you're watching me on. I'm more than happy to, uh, I will to answer you, I will respond to you, whatever. Um, but I would prefer uh, if you took them over to TikTok if you have TikTok, and uh, use the Q&A feature, uh, which is available right on my uh, page, as well as uh, use the Fitness Journey Playlist videos for the highlight reel videos. Um, that way I can make a video response to you directly from your comment, uh, which will tag you in it as well, so you can instantly notified. by so. Yeah, I think I still rambled through that, but I did it better than yesterday, I guess. So, anyway, that is it. I am done. Hasta luego. Hasta la vista. Hasta mañana.